Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm coming up with my second project for um, my bbcraft.com. I thought I would do a tutorial. I had mentioned that I was going to make a tassel and I ordered this 20 gauge wire from BB Craft. This is what was recommended. I don't remember the name of the video that I watched, but I do remember they said that 20 gauge uh, wire was required to make the tassel. I thought it would be fun to use the colors that coordinates with the new Frank Garcia Twilight Halloween collection. I have all these colors of seam binding that go really good with it. Well, that's where I am heading with this one. I went ahead and cut out uh, 12 inch lengths of my seam binding. I'm gonna alternate the colors. Now I'm going to take a piece of wire from this 20 gauge wire. So I'm just gonna cut this off at 10 inches. All right, so here's my piece of wire. I'm gonna um, get my ring that I want to put at the top of my tassel. One like that would be good. The first thing I'm going to do is fold the wire in half. I'm just gonna fold it in half and then I'm going to take the ring that I picked here and run the wire through it and then it's gonna be at the top. So just you can just kind of squeeze that and then I'm going to feed my beads on here to create my little tassel. I thought I would put, let's see, I do have some gold spacers kind of beads. So I think um, for this, maybe I'll just use, I'm just gonna use a round one, though they did fit. I'm just gonna put that that's going to be my first bead and I'm going to leave a little gap just so this has some room to dangle and then I'm just going to start um, adding beads so I think maybe what I'll do is put one of these orange ones on and then I'm going to put another spacer bead I'm kind of amazed that these fit both in here I didn't think they would so that's looking neat. And then I am think I'm gonna put um, a black one. And then another spacer bead. Maybe I'll do the grungy, the grungy looking one. And it still has a little pink on it. Um, I think that'll look good with the, the tassel and the other seam binding colors. Okay, so I think probably those three on there is gonna be enough. Get one more of the round beads to put on the bottom. So I'm just going to pull these apart. Gather them in the middle and pinch them. And I'm going to find the halfway point as much as I can. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to pinch these in the middle and I'm going to take my wire opening and I'm gonna put the center there and I'm gonna tight as tight as I can I'm gonna grab up the wire and get it as tight as I can here and then I'm going to twist it like that Since I do not have a um, bead cap the right size, <laughs> and my kitty has just arrived, so I'm going to have to pause, um, then I'm, I'm going to cut the excess off. Now, depending on what you're going to be using this for, you definitely want to get rid of any um, sharp edges. I'll trim this off, so then you can just bend that down a little that and then it won't be sticking out. I'm gonna turn that over. Um, let me give this a little bit of a haircut and cut off the ones that are super long. There is your finished tassel. 
You could also, instead of using wire, if you want to, you can use uh, thread, embroidery, floss. Um, this one, of course, this part's a little bit more sturdy because it has uh, the wire in there. But I think it looks super cute. I will make one more using some different beads and some different color seam binding. Okay, so for the next one, I thought I would make it a little more spooky. Um, one of my very first YouTube videos, I made these poppet carry bottles for Halloween last year. So I'm gonna get some of these skeleton beads out of here and use some. Let me see what kind of beads I have that might be fun. So I cut off 10 inches and this is the same 20 gauge wire. And again, I'm gonna start off by getting a small ring, not too big. And just like I did on the last one, I'm going to fold the wire in half. And then I'm gonna open it a little bit and then I'm gonna put the ring in there. And then that will be the top of our bead dangle. You have to plan like this will be the top. So yeah, what do you want your very top bead to be? So there is the top part of the bead dangle. Now I'm going to go get some seam binding and add it to the bottom to make the tassel. So look at that, that's a fancy tassel charm there. I love it. You can hang this off of a uh, junk journal. You could even put this on the outside of a gift bag and this could be, instead of a ribbon, you can have this as your, just your decorative element. And this is fun, it's blingy. So those are the two tassels I made using the wire BB Craft. It's a perfect weight wire to make bead dangles or to do wire wrapping. Uh, those were a lot of fun to make and they were pretty easy. If you're interested in getting any of these colors of seam binding, I do have them for sale in my Etsy shop. So I will uh, link that in the description box. Definitely check bbcrafts.com out. I will have a link to their website in the description box and I'll have my 10% off code. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.